Hey guys, it's your girl Leslie. Today we're reading a different story. Um, if you haven't heard of The Outsiders, it's a book about like teenage life and stuff. And this book was there there was a movie made in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and this is it's like greasers and socks. You know, I'm not gonna spoil a lot of it. I'm reading it at school, but I found some uh a book. Well, I found some books about The Outsiders, some one-shots. So I decided to read this book. I already kind of read it really fast, and I just realized I could have read it to you guys. But I'm not spoiling, so. Also, there might be some cuss words, and there might be some words you might not understand. Because these are, like, from, like, back then. But at the same time, it mixes up with 2018. So kind of mixes, use like, old words. And plus... Children do smoke, did smoke back then, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kids did smoke back then. Like a cigarette or something like that. Also, there's, yeah, so, but I still just suggest you guys read The Outsiders because it's so interesting and freaking, like, it is so interesting and it's like, it's just very interesting, a little bit mysterious, just an inch. And then just a lot of, like, an inch of funny. And then something I can't, and then something else I can't really, can't really remember. I might remember, remember it later. But anyways, this book is called, It All, Sto it All Started at the Record Store, Pony Boy X-Reader. Um, they made a second part about this book, and it wasn't, it was never finished, so... I'm not going to read the second part. You're just I'm only going to read this book and it has um it has a uh, 26 chapters total. I'm not sure about the young bloods, but that might be for the other book, but anyways. <laughs> also, I might not be able to post a lot because I do have a concert that's coming up pretty soon and I have to do a project and uh, and also I have to cosplay too. And it's kind of like, and I have to practice on my flute also, so it's kind of going in between. But I will try to read to you because it's 9 52, guys. I am freaking doing this for you. Anyways, chapter one. I gently picked up records from boxes and glanced at the beginning letter beginning letter if each group were artist putting them in different crates with other records and them that had the same letter at the beginning odd odd the group or artist alphabetical order was the way to go i was high waisted i had high waisted blue shorts on with a white button up dress shirt tucked into tucked into my shorts and i had my worn out black converse on i had a red bandana in my hair like a headband i hear the bell and at the front of the store ring and the door slowly closing behind it i i rush to the front and see a boy with brown grease back hair and there was some spots of his hair with a light blonde tint to it he he has a heavy and he has a heavy blue hoodie blue hoodie on and dirty blue sh jeans he had a friend with a mickey mouse shirt on and his hair was somewhat pamad I'm a door style. <laughs> Good afternoon, I say with a smile as I add a record to the Q record se section. Hey, the boy with the blue hoodie said, I noticed him from school. He has been coming in here and here and here, 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 there, and there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it was my VS4. <laughs> yeah, I have it on, but... <laughs>
for some reason i was watching a video then i just realized i had this idea i forgot to make a video for you guys so i'm so sorry for the noise but yeah i'm so sorry for the noise so sorry guys <laughs> anyways my parents own this store and usually work here but they are taking today off since today is Valentine's Day, I don't mind working here all by myself. Not saying that I don't wouldn't want to be out and about on the rest of Church Street. I stand behind the counter and add some of the mixtapes I made into the box with traded mixtapes. The two young men come up to the counter and put down a couple records. Would you like me to double check that these records don't have scratches? I ask. My eyes were focused down on the records. The Beatles, Little Richard, and Elvis Presley. Sure, one of them, uh, the one, the Mickey Mouse shirt answered. I gently take each one out and look at both sides making sure they didn't, there aren't any scratches. Are you new to Tulsa? The one with the hoodie takes out his wallet. Kinda. I've been here for about a month. I came here a lot when I was a kid, though, and lived here for two years when I, when I was five. So yes and no? I chuckle as I hand them the records, and the one with the hoodie hands me a 20. I put away the I put the 20 away and smile kindly as they leave. Is it five yet? I glanced up at the clock and grabbed my leather jacket and, and picked up the keys. I closed up and yawn as I walk home. The next day at school. I picked up, I picked out some books at the school library in case I run out of stuff to do at work tomorrow. I had a cherry red dress on that hug my waist but then flared out with black leggings and of course my trusty converse i check out all the books i want and begin to leave i kept my eyes on my shoes as i walk in and thump i was on my butt and my books are scattered around me I see a pair of white converse in front of me, and I glanced up. The young man that had come to the record store was before me. I scrambled to pick up my books, books up, but quickly noticed one was missing from the bunch. The young man held it out to me, and once I took it, he helped me out. I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out and wasn't paying attention. I I struggled a bit to find the words, but in the end he said it smooth he said I said it smoothly, but not calmly. So I kinda zo so now a bit myself. He chuckles a bit. I'm Ponyboy Curtis. I'm gonna guys before I continue, I'm gonna put my name actually no, I'm not gonna put my name this time. I kinda get literally baby like little awkward moments, so I'm gonna put I'm not going to put Amy Rose, like, um, you know what, I'm going to put a really, really, really weird name. I'm going to put Rosie Rose. <laughs> there you go, guys. Rosie Rose. There you go. Rosie Rose. I answered back as I put my backpack back on my back. And for a silent moment, we kind of just smiled at each other. You're the girl from the record store, record store, right? I nodded at his question. Yeah, and you're the one of the thousands odd people that come in, right? <laughs> nah, I remember you. You came in yesterday with some other guy. I laughed a bit, and then there was a very awkward silence. Chapter 2 after the awkward silence, Pony Boy invited me to hang out with him at lunch and then after school. At lunch, we talked about music, about the music we liked. 
Sooner than later, before I knew it, I was putting my stuff up in my bag. I glanced up and Pointy Boy leaned against the locker next to me and gave me a purely white smile. Hi, Pointy Boy, I say, throwing my bag over my shoulder. What do you want to do? We can go to the park and hang out. Pony Boy replies as he walked, as we walk down the steps and begin to walk across the parking lot. Sounds fun. We walk there silent until we reached a playground where little kids were jumping and goofing around. Pony climbs on the monkey bars and begins to hang upside down. I chuckle as a couple of strands of his hair fall out of place. He jumps down and runs his fingers back through his hair. Did you come here when it, when you were a kid? Pony Boy asks as I throw my arms up and grab onto the gray metal bars. Not that I remember. I glance around as I say this. Pony Boy guides me around the park, but I stop the tour abruptly. Ab- Abrupt, <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> wow, that's really pretty. I say, pointing to a rather beautiful old fountain. I walk over to it. Pony, bo- pony boy walking slowly behind me. I take out a couple pennies and hand one to Pony Boy. I wish for m- more friendships. I throw the penny in. To the water a little after Pony Boy. Pony Boy stared at the water of the fountain. His brown eyes seemed to change. Well, let's continue. I smile at Pony Boy and he quickly looks up and flashes a smile. So, what places have you been to? to in? <laughs> what have. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I keep saying it wrong. So, what places have you been in Tulsa? Pony Boy asks. I give him a rather short list of guys. You could just put the play any place, street, and sites, whatever. Because <laughs> honestly, I would not remember this. So <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. I have been to. Well, that wasn't as much as I thought you were gonna list. Well, Miss Miss Rose, I suppose you should be going home. Be getting home. Pony Boy mentions to my watch, 5.56. I shrug. I gasp a little as I see a beautiful pink wave in the sky as the sun started hiding away. We both stood there for a while till the sky was dark. You like sunsets too? Pony Boy asked. Why, yes, I do. I say as I glance down at my watch, 6.13. I sigh and glance up back up to at Pony Boy. I guess I ought to get home since my parents were not expecting me to stay the night out. Want me to walk you home? I wouldn't mind as long as it isn't a bother. I say as we started to walk down up the road. Nah, it ain't a bother. We walk to Church Street and to into my apartment building. We go, we go up one flight of stairs in front of apartment two. That I cut off by my parents who walked up the stairs and smiled at Pony Boy. Leslie, we're going to need you to... I mean, <laughs> sorry, Rosie. We're going to need you to run the record store again on Saturday and tomorrow. You are working an extra hour. Mom... Mom puts the keys into the lock and throws the door open. I thought you said I had Saturday off. I have to but I have a buttload of question in my voice. Well, your mother and I need to go at, and meet other record store another record store owner and trade records. We would we would just close, but more boxes are coming. So you are going to have to bring them in and unload them. Father stops and says and says to me, glancing c- coldly at Pony Boy, Who is this? This is Pony Boy Curtis. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rose. <laughs> so, 
That's so hilarious. Mr. Rose. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Rose. Leslie, can you help your mother cook dinner while I make a couple calls? I nod as dad foes inside. Bye, see you tomorrow, pony boy. I smile as he walks down the stairs. Good night. Okay, guys, so I'm only going to read two chapters because I have to clearly go to bed. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. And obviously, subscribe if you want more and better videos than this. Because, like, obviously, I literally sucked at reading these two chapters. I failed. But whatever, guys. I still hope you enjoyed it. And uh comment down below what you want me to read next because i'll try to find it there is some johnny x reader or there is some that are pony boy x johnny and i'm like what but <laughs> i got like really confused i was like okay what else but um hope you enjoyed the story guys i really I really do suggest you read Outsiders or watch the movie. I'm going to watch the movie after I finish the book at my school. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. Bye and peace. Oh, can't really trust nobody with all this jewelry on you. My roof looks like a no.